Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. We all know character animation is a huge headache, especially for 3D artists trying to create both stylized and realistic character animation. And they would like these things to have both facial and full body motion. Now, in most cases, trying to get this is not the easiest thing to do. But luckily enough, there is Blender, a free open source tool that anyone can lay their hands on and start creating stuff. Making that 3D model that you would animate comes with its own price. First, you have to make the model, unwrap it, rig it, texture, and prepare for animation. And this can take a long time, especially if you're trying to make more than just one character. And of course, trying to use character generators is perfect, but most of the problems you would get with this is they are either not usable in terms of topology, not easily tweakable for faster iteration, and most of them legally are tied to be used or rendered in one particular software. And luckily enough, these are the things that Relution Character Animation Pipeline set of tools are solving. Relution tool sets have brought into existence faster ways of creating and telling your stories. And this is beautiful because more and more Blender creators have adopted Relution's character animation set of tools and this has motivated them to join the Blender development fund to support the development of Blender as corporate silver members. And something else which actually propelled this motivation even more is the lip sync animation contest. Now within the time the lip sync animation contest was done, over 456 submissions were made and most of them were Blender users. With the best prize for character animation going to a Blender user and of course you can see how he took advantage of character creator alongside with iClone and Blender to create this stunning eye screen. So if you like to see this work in progress, I'm going to put a link in the description that will take you over to the work in progress page where you can check out this beautiful stuff. And at the same time, if you go over to the character design section, the first and the second prize also went to Blender creators. And this just proves to you that creating your own story and bringing your own projects to life can easily be made once you work with the right tools. So if you're into creating characters and you've been thinking about how you can make stylized character, realistic ones, baby-like character, muscular one, yes, you can. You can make any kind of character that you want. You can tweak them. You can send them back and forth to Blender, however you choose. Beautiful part about all of this is there is actually an add-on to make your life easy. The character auto setup is a tool that the full at Relution have actually made and left for free and this add-on is extremely beautiful. What it helps you do is you can easily import any character that you've made from character creator and it brings in all of the parameters that you would like to tweak from skin to eyes, teeth, the smart hair adjustments if you like to make all of that. If you're into physics simulation and you would like to also transport your iClone weight maps over to Blender weight maps you can easily do all of that to get that perfect smooth simulation that you're looking for and in terms of lighting you can also play with the dynamic lighting to get some even cleaner and beautiful result the folks at Relution have also shared the commitment to keep up with the development of this beautiful free add-on and in the upcoming update they're looking at creating a round trip action a round trip action in the sense that you can easily send your files from character creator over to Blender and then from Blender back to Character Creator. I think this is definitely going to make a lot of things easier owing to the fact that you might want to make some tweaks in Blender and send your files back to Character Creator to add some extra accessories and probably polish it a little bit more before you send it back to Blender for final rendering. And for those thinking about animation, ActorCore is a huge motion capture library that levels the playing field for realistic everyday performance. Character animators and crowd simulators would love this. Unlike other motion capture libraries, Akako offers a full range of body and finger motions and with new sets of updates slated for Blender users, artists would now easily send motions from Actoco directly to Blender and also live sync it with any character that already exists in Blender back to iClone and also do a simple round trip from character creator to Blender as well. And for artists looking for facial performance, you can actually take advantage of iClone's X Plus and also Aculibs to get that perfect facial performance that you've always wanted. Now, despite this, there's also a couple of other options that you can work with. Now, for facial expression, you can take advantage of the face puppet that exists in iClone and actually puppeteer your character facial performance anyhow you choose. For lip sync, like we mentioned, Aculibs is right there and you can actually get automatic, natural and accurate lip talking animation and this is extremely procedural, which means that you can edit and also fine tune this to your liking. For those who like to use their mobile device and do a simple facial performance capture and retarget this onto your model, you can simply use the live face tool and retarget your facial performances 
to your model directly with the set of tools that is available for iClone. So lots of possibilities for anyone thinking about creating facial and full body character animation. And just in case you're also thinking about capturing or making a replica of something that already exists, there is also a couple of add-ons and tools and also several plugins that you can take advantage of that would make your life extremely easy. So the folks at Relution are also reiterating the idea that they would like to serve the Blender community in the next coming year. And they're looking at incorporating some cool features, tool sets, and as well, some more add-ons that already exist for Blender with their character creation and animation pipeline. And yes, there are a couple of add-ons that currently work with Relution set of tools, and the folks at Revolution are also urging developers that would like to develop more tools for Blender users to comfort and reach out to them. And in terms of assets, the folks at Revolution are currently creating more and more diversity-driven assets for artists. And these assets include smart hair assets, outfits, and also some other props and miscellaneous assets that tons of artists would like to work with. It makes sense to see that Revolution is now part of the Blender development fund and they're looking at ways to incorporate their pipeline set of tools alongside with Blender with all of these new steps and also impressive roadmaps that they've put together. This is just the beginning of Blender artists taking full advantage of tools and also assets that they can get from Revolution and start creating engaging and breathtaking stories. So for those who like to bring their characters to life or probably tell their stories in a much engaging way, then you should consider taking a look at the character animation pipeline set of tools from the folks at Revolution. And that's about it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.